G'day everyone, Badlander here. Hey, as part of my um, new series on things to do in FNQ, I'd like to invite you along to Stony Creek Falls and it's all part of the Barren Gorge National Park. It's about 15 minutes from the Smithfield end of um, the Northern Beaches and about 24 k's from Cairns. So come along, let's go have a look and explore this area. It's another free sort of thing that you can do um, and we'll go from here. Cheers. Now as you leave the car park and walk towards the track, you'll see a sign just explains the water flow and how it all ties up. You go on the track, it's easy, there's only one track. It will be to the right if you want to go to the weir part, which was flooded when I went there, but we'll take the left hand track. Apologising now for the water on the lens, it only lasts for a little bit, the rain really bucketed down. Now, as you cross the bridge, it's the only access other than the weir if you walk over there to get there. Um, Taking the scenery, again, I apologise for the water drops, but it stops soon. Um, unfortunately, this is only suitable if you can walk or have some sort of ways there, not, not for wheelchairs or any similar aid. Now you'll come up to a sign that says, uh, warns you about the stinging tree. So pay attention to the pictures, just be careful. I didn't see any on the track, but it doesn't mean they weren't there. Just a little bit further up from that is the Douglas and Glacier Rock um, turnoff. That's something I want to do, especially Glacier Rock. But the track actually up to the falls is quite easy to follow. Um, there's, in the first 80 metres, it's all rocky at present due to the flooding damage. But it's easy to tra traverse if you take your time and just make sure you've got sturdy shoes. And take it very easy if it rains. Now. On the right hand side as you walk up you'll see lots of little waterfalls from the recent rain and even in the dry season these are running just not to the same extent. About 80 metres up you'll see a little track to the left which will take you down to the first lot of falls. Um, I filmed most of it, I couldn't film me getting down so I totally apologise for that. It's just a bit wet and slippery and yeah, there's the first lot of falls and the clarity of the water even with half a day of rain is good so you can imagine that in a really nice hot day just jumping in so from then on we just keep going up the track and you'll see on the left hand side views of the creek it, it roars sometimes because it's in a valley it just echoes So I make the most in taking the scenery, I just love rapid water. We keep going up not far from probably about 40 metres from the top of the waterfalls and you, you'll see these massive great big rocks on the right hand side. That's about 7 metres by 5 metres by about 5 metres. It's massive and a little waterfall is on the other side of it just here. I don't know if that runs all the time but the other one did. So we keep moving on upwards from here and we could get down to the to this creek here so I could get some better footage for you. It was slightly in flood, the water's a lot calmer normally. But you can see how pristine it is. So we can still go a little bit further. This track goes for a few k's after that, but I couldn't get all the way up, which you'll see why later. I just continually kept looking down and I was able to access that to bush bashing and I got in to get some footage for you. So you can imagine on a big bush walk, just coming in, sitting in that, cooling down when it's not running so hard. You can see the erosion here from the floods but it's still easily accessible. Now to the right you'll see some trees coming down on that track and there was about eight or ten more after that. So this is where I called I can't go any further because the track was getting slippery in that but look at that. It's just amazing sort of place to go and I just wish I had someone there with me um, for safety reasons and you could just jump in and cool down because even though 
It was raining, it was 32 degrees, and up here the humidity can get quite bad in the uh, wet season. So I really hope you've liked what you've seen, and I hope it inspires you to get up here one day and enjoy it yourself. G'day everyone. Well, I'm back at the bridge, so that's over. This will be about the third one in my series, so I'd really like some feedback if I could. Um, at the moment I'm focusing on low, low to no cost food things for people with kids on that, so I know there's the reef and all the resorts and everything like that, but some people come on a conservative budget like I've done most of my life, so I just want to offer things that people have to do. So I've focused on the waterfalls mainly because it's the wet season and they go so good, and in, when you guys would come up in the normal tourist season, it would be just that's a nice spot for you guys to cool off because I've been where you are. <laughs> um, as coming up here I meant and being hot, sticky and just wanting to cool off in the middle of winter and everyone thinks you're nuts. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment. Any feedback's great. Have a nice day. Catch us all later.